Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are at Ikea, as you can probably tell by the large blue and yellow building behind me. Today, I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along. I actually am doing some shopping for myself here and a project I'm working on. Since fall is right around the corner and I haven't done a shop with me at Ikea video in a while, that I would bring you along with me and we would go discover everything new for the fall season, whether it be Thanksgiving, Halloween, or just fall festivities, fall vibes in the home. And I'm gonna share with you guys all of the new furniture, the new decor, and of course some of the seasonal accents that have come out for fall. And I am not affiliated with Ikea in any way. So Ikea, if you wanna like affiliate, you know where to find me. Let's get some good deals at Ikea and make our homes beautiful for the fall time. So if you've ever been to Ikea before, you would know that the first place you kind of stumble onto is their showroom areas that kind of have their different displays for the season. And this fall little store setup was so cute. It was my favorite display that I saw. So I had to incorporate it in the front. They even had little window displays that featured some of their new fall and Halloween items in the actual windows of the store within the store. I thought that was so cute. So then inside of the actual storefront, there is all of their fall merchandise ranging from candles to little decor trinkets. And it's sort of just displayed for you to get a taste of their fall collection before actually going seeing it like just displayed on shelves this kind of gives you like an idea of how it can look in your home even though this is set up like a store it's just a cute little display i love these snuffers that are shaped like witches hats as well and they do have some garland and then also some fall throws as well so this is like an all-around room kind of encapsulating some of their fall and halloween pieces and i thought that these brown cups were so cute <laughs> Now I ain't gonna lie, the IKEA little room setups are not always my favorite. However, I do feel like I get some good ideas for placement, such as these little wall sconces on either side of the mirror here. I also loved how on the right side you can kind of see this mushroom print. They actually covered one of their PAX units using a mushroom wallpaper, which I thought was a cute idea. So they always have these like kind of little innovative and clever ways to transition some of their pieces or DIY them. I also thought connecting up the cube system like this was super cute to create a wall shelf system because this is traditionally a floor shelving system. Slipcover sofas are all the rage right now, and I could not believe my eyes when I turned the corner and saw this slipcovered sleeper sofa at IKEA in a ton of different colors. Look at how stunning this chocolate brown is, and it even has a bench seat, which I was so shocked by. Like, this just feels so elevated for IKEA, and I love it. Then I came across this sofa, the Viscafor sofa, and I'm probably not gonna say any more names after this sofa here because I butcher them all, but look at the roll arm on this sofa. It is so luxe for IKEA, I feel, and it even comes in this cream colorway as well. It's super soft and super plush as well. I don't think this one is a new one. However, I did notice that they have a black colorway that is new, but it wasn't on the floor. And I love the 360 view of this entire sofa. It's so beautiful from all angles. I am a huge fan of upholstered ottomans. I just feel like you can put a storage ottoman or an ottoman in general, just in any spot where you want a chair, but you might not have enough room for it. An ottoman can go there. And I love that this one is tufted. It has storage and it comes in a bunch of different colors. There also were these smaller footstool style ottomans, which I thought were really cute with the iron base and then the upholstered top. Oddly enough, I did not find really any new chairs other than this rattan chair here, um, which I think is cute. I don't know if I would use it in a design. It kind of looks orthopedic. And then I also found this bench, which I definitely would use in design. I think it's a cute entry bench, would be stunning on like a stair landing as well or for an apartment space. These new side tables are probably my new favorite silhouette of side table from Ikea. And for $19, I mean, this is going to be my go-to if I need an affordable side table. I love the silhouette of the legs. It comes in a bunch of different colors and the top is like a substantial size. And in my last video, Ikea had just released a couple of these new Tonestad systems, but this little side table is such a cute size. The wood veneer is stunning. It's my favorite wood veneer Ikea's ever done. This kind of like medium grain oak is perfection. I love the shape of the side table and these ones for $29 are also so cute. I think the little rolled kind of iron leg adds a whimsy touch and it comes in red and black. Another favorite of mine is this coffee table and I wouldn't use this as a solo coffee table. I would definitely purchase two of these and put them side by side, maybe create a gap in the center as well and just create my very own unique shaped coffee table. And if you shopped Ikea before, you've probably heard lac, which is one of their main furniture styles. And this is a lac console that actually comes in a light wood tone. It is new from them and I think it's beautiful 
beautiful, it's super streamlined and perfect for an apartment, but look at this sliding cabinet. This is a Tonestad sliding cabinet. The wood grain on it is so gorgeous, and I love the low profile of this. I think it'd be a perfect media console. So if you're looking for a media console, this is absolutely the option I'd go for from Ikea. But if you like a little more texture, you can also go for this option here, which has these woven wicker end caps. And I also love that the sides on these were woven. It's like fully woven all the way around. It's not just on the front. It has this simple kind of plinth base to it as well, which kind of elevates the look of the design. And the top is really streamlined. And this might look like a really long cabinet, but it's actually a two piece and a one piece cabinet put together to create this long look. But I love the glass shelves on the inside. I have never seen a piece like this. So I thought it'd be nice for a dining room. And another silhouette in that same kind of woven wicker rattan material is this taller cabinet, which I can so see this as an at-home bar. It's the perfect size. It's kind of small. It's petite. It'd also be cute at the end of a hallway. It just kind of has this petite nature to it that I think would be perfect as a little bar cart. But if you're just in the need of wall storage, they also have you covered because these shelves here actually are great because you can have them like in this orientation or you can flip them over, kind of pair them side by side. And then this simple shelf here has a fluted detail on the front, which I feel like adds something cute if you're going to be doing a bunch of shelves in one area. And for anybody in the market for storage, these are your next storage pieces. These are going to be my next storage pieces. I love them. They're again from the Tonestad collection. So they come in this like light wood colorway, but then they also come in that medium oak color, which is this one here. And you can actually get the components for the bottom. You can get the bookshelves for the top. You can even get a long skinny bookshelf on the right side, um, which I'll show you in just a second here. But I just love the tone of these bookcases. They also come in just like the individual glass shelving systems in the wide and the skinnier. Just so stunning with the little pull handles on them. I think they're so cool. This wall shelf here sort of has an art deco feel to it. And I also like how the shelves are little trays. I think this would be perfect in a bathroom space for additional products. And then we're working our way into the tables and chairs. And I thought that this little setup here was super cute. I love the color on the wall in the background, but then I also loved how the furniture was a mixture of wood and black. I haven't seen that very often. And this kind of mid-century style, very streamlined walnut table, I thought was perfect. It's a new silhouette from Ikea. And I love the rounded corner with kind of that very tapered leg. It's very mid-century and it feels almost vintage. And since we were in the kitchen dining area, I thought I'd film some of the little setups. I loved that golden wall in the background. And then this little table setup I thought was really pretty. I had to film it. I love brown glassware mixed with like the white clean linens. These wooden kitchen cabinets were very farmhouse feeling, but I definitely feel like for Ikea, they are pretty. I love the little handle on them as well. The enamel mixed with the silver is like a classic feel. And they have this little kitchenette too, if you're in the market or need a kitchenette for your space. This is a new item from them and it comes with everything you need from the countertop to the sink. Um, and it creates an entire little kitchenette for you. Ikea absolutely killed it with this wicker desk chair. I feel like desk chairs are super hard. They're either overly expensive for something cute or just just not cute at all. And this is the perfect blend. They also offer this little rolling cart. That's a wicker rolling cart, which I love. It has wooden wheels. And this desk here is something that can be against a wall or it also can totally float in the middle of a room. It can even be a vanity. I love the wraparound nature of the rattan. Earlier, I shared with you guys the Tonestad side table, but it also comes in a nightstand version, which this one has taller legs. It's perfect for the side of a bed. And I feel like this is just like the perfect, simple oak nightstand. And then this dresser here is a new silhouette by them. At first, I only saw it in white, which I didn't love. I did really like the curved edge on it, though. That's what really sold me on it. But then I noticed in a back room, they had this one. They're setting up this room still. It's a wood version of it. For all my DIYers, we have a new raw wood dresser to work with. This is not the Tarva that we've always had. Look at this one. I love that it comes in two different sizes and the handles are really cute on this one. And I feel like this golden amber color is totally having a moment at Ikea. They really painted a lot of their rooms with it, but I also feel like it creates such a bright and cheery feel in what is a showroom. So I can totally see why. Now these pack stores actually come in that oak veneer I was talking about, the medium oak veneer. That's what I call it. I think it's so great. And then this closet system 
system's also perfect. If you have like blank walls or an empty closet, this system's only 149 and it has a hanging rack, it has drawers and shelving space as well. And you can pair them side by side to create however long of a closet system you need. Now this is their traditional crib silhouette, but it now comes in a green. It's giving Bottega baby. And this is where I headed downstairs to the marketplace area where I first found this little ceramic tray, which had this green kind of splotchy print, which I liked. And then this blue tray here is new. I thought the color was super chic. And then the wood in the center adds a nice contrast. I picked up the set of jade bowls for myself. I thought they were so cute with the little brown flecks on them. And then this set here has a little bit more of a detail embossed, but then we finally made our way to the Halloween section. And something I will say right now is Ikea, you have got to work on your prints. I'm so sorry. They're always never good. Like never. They're never good. I'm so sorry. These little dusty pink glasses though are so cute. I love those. And then these little wreaths here, they kind of give the look of dried wreaths, um, but they're not. They're just faux. And these orange plates here are perfect. If you're having like a Halloween party, these are a great little addition. yourself up a bag of six faux pumpkins if you like in assorted fall colors or they also have them in a neutral color palette which I think is quite nice and then these glass pumpkins actually come in two different sizes there's a smaller one and then there's a larger one these little tea light holders with Halloween emblems on them I feel like these would be so cute scattered across like a dining table for a Halloween party and then last but not least we have some black vases I also love that they did their vines in black and then they have bat garland and then a couple of dried wreaths I thought this one was beautiful with the little touch of red and navy and this is a little bit more of a classic kind of dried flower wreath which I feel like they have this year round actually but it's perfect for fall. I love these glasses. I have never seen them before. They're actually not new but I thought the color was perfect. The pedestal on the bottom and also the fluting and then this bed set here. How cute is a green with the white over the top? I don't love the white with the black pillows but this little mohair throw is also a great option and then for throw pillows I came across these which I love. They kind of remind me of like a Danish Scandinavian style print but they come in a navy, this red color, and then an olive as well. And then for the fall time, they actually have this kind of golden floral pillow too, if that's up your alley. I picked myself up one of these plaid doormats, which I'm very excited to use for fall and transition into Christmas. But these doormats here, I love these. I love how they have the little border on the end and they have the green and brown and they also have the yellow and the golden with the grid on top. Just so good. And then this rug here is completely crafted of wool. These are like new for Ikea, I believe. They're actually packaged in a little canvas bag and they have these braided ends really interesting kind of folk art feeling as well and then for baskets there were quite a few new baskets I was actually surprised this basket here with the rope handle with a little bit more of an open weave to the base this basket here which is kind of a little bit more of a bowl shape with a black trim on the top now I'm a basket connoisseur from Ikea because I love DIYing these this little one here has a pink bead on top which is so cute like if you wanted to put this in your bathroom and then this one here you guys are you kidding me this is a perfect trash can basket like a little waste basket for your desk or next to your bed and just a couple more things to share with you as I was heading out I saw these lanterns which are perfect for outdoor come in two different sizes and last but not least this mirror here which totally looks like urban outfitters or anthropology at a fraction of the price point and this one's actually really nice and that, my friends, concludes this little Ikea fall shop with me video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and maybe inspired you to go out to Ikea or see what they have for the fall season. Maybe you saw something you needed for your space, whether it be storage, a little holiday piece of decor, or something else I might have shared in the video. So definitely leave a comment below letting me know if you are going to be picking up anything or if you were surprised by anything you saw, which I will definitely say. All of those Tonestad pieces, the new oak wood color that Ikea has come out with is so stunning. I hope that they do more pieces in that because it really feels so much more elevated for Ikea and I love that look. I also definitely would say that I feel like I've been seeing a lot more pieces that incorporate just unique design elements or like unique treatments to furniture pieces such as woven rattan different types of cabinets the rounded corners on the dressers and some of the cabinets as well which i feel like before ikea is always really known for their simple construction and rounded edges are just a lot harder to create so i definitely feel like they're kind of branching out into other realms of design and adding in a little bit more flair to their pieces which i'm liking so yes let me know which was your favorite piece in the comment section below from the new fall collection and i will catch you guys all in my next video which will be up on the channel this thursday Day. Bye guys.